one of the interesting things is experimenting with how all the different paints work with each other um, and the amount of drying time that has an effect on putting colours down, taking them away, trying other ones on top. And so you're never really quite sure what comes out. And it's not by any um, great deliberate attempt, it's almost a lot of accidental effects that happen on the canvas produce very interesting and positive results. So it's a great surprise whenever you start something to you never know quite how it's going to end. So I was born in London and lived and worked there for many years, uh, mostly in the fashion industry where I was putting together photographic shoots using a combination of models and stylists and photographers to bring together a brand's personality and life on page. And I think quite a lot of that has been useful now with translating to how my art comes together in some subconscious way. Um, but then my family and I decided, let's try something completely different. And so in a rash moment of uh, successful judgment, uh, we came down to the New Forest and uh, we bought a hotel, uh, which was directly by the sea. And we very happily lived, worked there for 15 years. And uh, that we sold now some four years ago. And that's enabled me to concentrate even more now on painting. I first started painting just after January 2000, in around March time, and um, something was just saying to me in my head, go and buy some paints, get some canvas and see what happens. So I started experimenting then, and um, at the time, a lot of my time was spent looking out towards the Isle of Wight and needles, rocks, and that, I think, was probably what set me off in starting the seascapes. Um, from there, an interest in colour has always been with me um, and a very strong sense of how colour uh, resounds and works across with light. And uh, so the earlier paintings were very much uh, colour orientated, but you know, it changes all the time, it depends what's in your head uh, and the mood and the feelings that you have uh, for each day. So I tend to use mostly acrylic paints, um, but I kind of like the randomness of having lots to hand um, in a fairly haphazard way here in the studio rather than anything very ordered. And for some strange reason, some order seems to be able to be created out of that disorder. Um, importantly is the way that the paint's applied, and I use a variety of different um, pieces of equipment to achieve that. I mean, they can be anything from you know, cloths um, through to sandpaper, brushes such as this. Um, but whilst a lot of people might discard those that have gone hard um, and perhaps beyond repair, I rather like the fact that that's uh, gone hard and crunchy and that and again is quite useful for taking away some of the layers of paint and uh, similarly with some of the kitchen utensils um, and also on the on the spatulas here the fact that the paint's dried unevenly on the back and rather than peel that off and make it pristine again uh, this rough texture that we've got under here um, again can create quite interesting techniques when putting the, uh, the paint on the canvas. So I guess this uh, is all the members of the orchestra here and we're trying to make some interesting music on canvas. I draw on uh, such a wide variety of different things for inspiration. You know, it, it could be the shapes of a photograph in a magazine it could be a seascape very early in the morning, it could be a forest at, uh, at dusk, um, or anything from the way that the fishing boats, uh, their hulls start to look decayed and the paint starts flaking and the rust. That's I've found recently has been quite an interesting um, 
point of navigation for some of the abstract pieces um, in the collection now. So one of the things that's really good is how supportive all the local people have been here and the local businesses. So here at For Sale are really great and promote my work, but also Stanwell House, Westover Hall, the Marine, they've all been so uh, helpful to promote work. And I think people visiting the area rather like to take something away that perhaps has some connection and spirit with what's happening locally, um, which is really good. If someone finds a connection with what I've done and finds pleasure uh, in the decision to uh, wish to own that piece um, and enhance their home environment in some way, then job done. Um, you won't make that connection with everyone, but then not everyone likes every piece of music or every poem or every book that they read. Um, there's freedom of choice. Um, but I'm very fortunate that uh, many choose to like what I put down and uh, there's a lot of gratitude for the local area in providing that stimulation that's enabled me to um, create what I do.